Well, on this Friday morning, I guess the winter storm is kind of right at our our doorstep right now. And uh, we're supposed to have 30 below wind chills come Sunday night. Um, it's going to be a cold week coming up. I had ordered a new belt for on the snowmobile here. This is my uh, Blizzard uh, 850. And... Just, I love the sled, the 850 E-Tech. You saw it on removing the slides video earlier this fall. And uh, the trickle charger. Well, you know, the battery sits right underneath that Lynx bag. And so Carmen had gotten me that bag. And then we've got another bag on the back here. So it's really nice for storage. Let's take this belt off, okay, and put the new one on. I flat spotted, I believe, this belt last spring, and or the spare belt. Anyways, it's been six years since it's had a brand new belt on it. So I ordered a Deco off of uh, that'll fit. <laughs> it actually came from a town 45 minutes west of here, but it was on eBay, and so that came from Medford. Taking off the belt, you you know, it's kind of a pain if you have to do it on the trail. And especially, I'm going to guess, pain if you have to do it in the dark. Excuse me as I go to put my uh, camera here into its trusty spot. You might get a few fingers and whatever else over the top. Hopefully this works. But there is a, this little uh, screw thing that goes, it sits right on the, on the cover here for this uh, clutch setup, and so you take it off, you put the put it in here, and you begin to turn. And what that does, it basically spreads this flywheel apart, and it's going to make it real easy, hopefully to just slide that belt off. Um, these can go either really easy or they can be a pain. Um, we'll see how this one goes. But, yeah, in the next hour or so, I wanna have this done, put back away, so that if we decide to ride next week and it's cold out, I'm not trying to do this on the trail, as I get on the trail, I found out that I didn't change the belt in the spring and should have changed the belt in the spring. And I have to do it on the trail and it's cold. Right now, I think it's in the teens or 20s. So a person could go yet without, without gloves on. you can see how that's kind of opening this clutch up by looking at the piston right here. I would be rather gentle in how you do this. And I'm praying that I don't land up with a, you know, that little thing breaking off. So this fits over this. And this is sliding, pushing that back. That hub is attached to the back of this. Okay, that seems about it. So, 
So we got that opened up, just pulled and slid that. Now comes the fun part, trying to get it out of the bottom. Probably should have got the Mac out of here first. And I did not. Try this. There. Okay. They don't leave you a lot of room, do they? This was the spare belt, it was new, and I think this one was fine, but after six years, two belts, we'll go to a new one. On this one, the XTX5034. Okay, let's have some fun getting this back in here. Work that around that bottom clutch. There's just no clearance on these things between the, all the foam and normally I'm a little faster at this than this. I love the skidoos. I mean this is an 850. I still get, you know, 20 plus miles a gallon with it. Not a longer ride, it takes maybe a half a gallon more than what my wife's 600 does. Okay. Let's get that in there. Okay. Let's see if we can get this rotated on there. Okay, just like that, folks. Now let's tighten her down. Back this off. I'll tighten that belt on there and we should be good to go. If the 
place I got this belt from was correct. Seem to have a lot more, well, okay, this flywheel isn't out yet. That did not slide all the way out. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, oil on that or grease it. Okay, then we got to put this slides in there. And this. Oops. Short side. Slides in there. Clips back down into there. Make sure you get that in that and clip down. Oop. Ah. There, slide that in a little more. There we go. That's clipped back in there. We're going to change the belt out. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but snow is starting to come down. This part's the pretty part. You know, this is the nice part of living in northern Wisconsin. Absolutely quiet. Outside, snow falling. 20, 30 degree January day, not bad. Now, but when that wind picks up and that front comes through, then it gets not so nice. All right, let's take this belt out of there. I guess. I'm seeing a little shiny right here. I do. I think this is the one that I'm doing the right thing here. And so put the spare in here. And yeah, my hands, in all honesty, are starting to get a little cold. And yes, as I get older, I begin to wonder, would I be better off with a ski-do snowmobile or a See do. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna take a screwdriver. I'm gonna pull those. Get these all clipped into place. There again, you don't want that flying apart of under the hood. So I'll uh, maybe I'll even just take. Yeah, I think I can do it with a hammer I got here. Alrighty. So anyways, I'll put the cover back on and you know, we'll be all set and ready to go. Um, I'm gonna label the belt that I took off of here. That clipped under there. And uh, And we can take care of things from there. I will, I don't want to let the video run on any longer. We kind of got what we need to do here. And then I'm going to put it away. So that's how, that's how you do it. You got to have that little tool, push that clutch apart. And you're all set and ready to go.
20 minutes later, you're ready to hit the trail. Hit that like and subscribe button and stay warm. Pro and the project person. That's it for right now.